What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Sweet Studios. My name is Joshua Grove and today we are here to learn the Big Cup to Spike in Saragrip. Today I'm gonna to be using the Sweet's Prime Radar and I'm using this Kendama specifically for spike tricks because it has this awesome tracking around the hole so that it makes spiking a little less challenging. So let's jump right into it. If you're not familiar with Saragrip, again, please go check out that grip tutorial that is in our list so that you can be comfortable with stair grip before learning this trick. The first thing with this trick, instead of the normal big cup that we were gonna do uh, previously, where we focus more of just catching the ball in the cup, I want you to first set up the grip to the opposite side of your body. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a small pop motion back to our dominant side of our body. And this motion is gonna allow for the ball to flip half over so that the whole is now facing me. This is gonna set us up so that we can get a successful spike right after this. So once we have this successful flip up and the hole is facing mostly us, uh, the idea is we wanna make a slight curve motion so that the ball is naturally gonna have this momentum so that we can align it with the spike as it comes around. So essentially it's like making a small C, making a small C motion, getting out of the way, and then following that spike all the way back down. Now, the focus point for this is just keeping all of your eye uh, attention right on the hole, right where the hole is. And then essentially, you just wanna get your thumb and your pointer finger right underneath the spot that you're focusing on. That's gonna help you achieve spike pretty quickly. So getting it up to the big cup, making that small controlled arch, using your knees, of course, and getting your fingers right underneath that hole. Now, what happens if the ball is flipped totally over and the hole is not facing us. You can still achieve spike. It's just gonna take a little bit more of an arch and maybe even a little bit more of your knees. It's the same process. And you can see the eyelet on the Tama. That's giving me a reference of exactly uh, where the hole is on the other side of the ball. So if I can have the eyelet facing me, I know that all I have to do is make that slight arch, use my knees, and I can track that ball all the way around. A challenge that you might find yourself coming against is just the angle of the spike. Uh, getting a spike with stair grip like this can be a little challenging, and it takes a little bit of time to get used to that nice and relaxed motion. So I would just encourage you just to stay relaxed. If you feel your shoulder being really tense and you're trying to spike it up here, just take a breath and relax your hands and see if you can try spiking it a little lower. So using your knees is gonna help with this, but using a nice relaxed shoulder and the stair grip spike close to your waist. Now it's important to let the ball come to the spike instead of going after the ball. And what that means is instead of throwing it up and jabbing at the hole to go for that spike, it really means just using your knees, following that hole and letting the Tama come to the spike. So that's it. That's the big cup to spike in Sarah Grip. I hope this tutorial helped you out. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of the tutorials and keep on learning, keep on progressing. And we'll see you next time in the Sweet Studio.